In this video, I'm talking about how hearing aids can change your program settings automatically to help you hear your best no matter what type of situation you're in. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and Founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. As an older member of the millennial generation, I remember growing up without having cable television. I also remember not having caller ID, let alone a cell phone that I could walk around with, and we sure as heck did not have a computer. I remember not even having a VCR, so if I wanted to watch the newest episode of The Simpsons, I had to actually be there at the time that it was on TV. And if I missed it, I had to wait for the rerun, and I had no idea when those reruns would come out. I basically don't even have to lift a finger because everything is completely automated. And the things that are not automated, I just voice activate. Does this mean that life is better with all of this automation? Well, I guess it depends on who you ask. But if you ask me, I'm going to tell you absolutely. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button, it really helps this video get recommended to a broader audience. That being said, I really appreciate it. And now back to the video. Okay, so with all of this talk about automation becoming the new norm due to all of this technological innovation, then why in the world do we still have to use a push button on our hearing aids to change into different programs when we go into a variety of different listening situations? Now, sometimes having a manual push button program can be beneficial. Like if you go to a Broadway show and you have a telecoil inside of your hearing aids, you can switch into that telecoil program to pull that audio directly from the hearing loop that's installed inside of that facility. But Otherwise, having a bunch of programs that you have to constantly be changing into every single time you go into a different situation can be extremely annoying. In fact, I would venture to say that the vast majority of hearing aid users just stay in their default program and never even change it when they go into different situations. But otherwise, having to change programs constantly just is not convenient. But these reasons are exactly why Phonak, today's video sponsor, developed their new and improved AutoSense OS 4.0 operating system inside of their Paradise line of devices. So back in 2015, Phonak engineers developed a new operating system that automatically identified which listening situation a hearing aid user was in, and then automatically switched their hearing aids into program settings that were ideal for that environment. Phonak called this new operating system AutoSense OS, and in June of 2015, they released one of my favorite white papers that I will link in the description of this video that talked about the two main benefits of AutoSense. Those two key benefits were that AutoSense OS was better at selecting a listening situation than a human was, and on top of that, the program settings that AutoSense OS selected allowed for 20% better speech understanding compared to the program selected by the hearing aid user. However, since its original release back in 2015, Phonak has updated AutoSense OS to AutoSense OS 3.0 in their Marvel line of devices, and now onto AutoSense OS 4.0 in their Paradise line of devices that introduces some new features to make AutoSense OS work even better. First and foremost, in AutoSense OS 4.0, there are up to nine different programs that your hearing aids can automatically switch into. Using a combination of acoustic information that's collected every 0.4 milliseconds, and even a motion sensor that's inside of the rechargeable Paradise line of devices, the hearing aids can identify which program settings are most ideal for you. The seven main automatic programs that AutoSense OS 4.0 can switch into are Calm Situation, Speech and Noise, Speech and Loud Noise, Speech and Car, Comfort and Noise, Comfort and Echo, and Music. For instance, if you go from your house to your car, the hearing aids will switch into a speech and car program. And then after you drive to the restaurant that you're going to, and you get out and go into that restaurant, the hearing aids switch out of the speech and car program and go into either a speech and noise program or a speech and loud noise program, depending on how much noise is actually in that restaurant. And the best thing is, you don't have to do anything. The hearing aids literally do this all on their own. Now, some of you out there are pretty sharp, and you're probably thinking, Cliff, you just told us that there were going to be nine AutoSense OS 4.0 programs, but you only really told us about seven. Well, hold your horses, because there are two other automatic programs in AutoSense OS 4.0, and they have to do with streaming. So if you're going to be streaming audio directly from your smartphone, tablet, computer, or whatever into your Paradise hearing aids, your hearing aids will classify 
that stream into either music or speech related media that have completely different settings for each. This way you also get to hear your best when you're streaming one of my YouTube videos directly into your ears, which we all know is the most important thing when it comes to your hearing aids. Now it is important to note that the amount of automatic programs that you get inside of AutoSense OS 4.0 depends on the technology level of your Paradise hearing aids. The P90 technology gives you all nine AutoSense OS 4.0 programs. The P70 gives you six, the P50 gives you five, and the P30 gives you four. So if you want your hearing aids to function as automatically as possible, make sure you select the highest tech level possible. Quick little pro tip here, if you go into the My Phone Act app and then you click on the bottom right adjustment menu, you can actually see what type of situation you are currently in. Sometimes this information is really helpful to take back to your hearing care professional so they can make the proper program changes inside of that AutoSense OS 4.0 program. Another reason why you may want to strongly consider the P90 level of technology is that AutoSense OS 4.0 in the premium level devices also give you a few additional features including dynamic noise cancellation and speech enhancer. Dynamic noise cancellation helps to cancel out background noise to help reduce listening effort in complex listening situations. Much like how a set of over the ear headphones tries to cancel out as much background noise as possible, this new feature inside of AutoSense OS 4.0 tries to reduce background noise as much as possible so you can hear and understand speech with less effort. Speech Enhancer, on the other hand, is intended to boost soft level speech. So if you're talking to someone who's a soft talker, if you're talking to someone who's talking to you from across the room, or if you happen to be talking to someone who's wearing a mask, it can boost these soft level inputs by up to 10 decibels, which is essentially up to a doubling of your perceived volume of that speech. And this can be the difference between you hearing and understanding somebody and not even hearing them at all. Now if you want to learn more about the dynamic noise cancellation and speech enhancer features inside of AutoSense OS 4.0, make sure that you check out my videos that I will link in the description. If you stop to think about it, hearing aids are starting to become smarter than we are. And that's okay as long as these hearing aids are going to automatically switch us into program settings that help us hear better without us having to worry about it. And I'd be willing to bet that if you had to choose between the manually adjustable hearing aids from back in the 80s, 90s, and even 2000s, or these automatically adjusting hearing aids that you have today, the decision would be a no-brainer. So the next time that you're considering a hearing aid to help you hear better in a variety of different situations, you might want to think about a hearing aid that can change programs automatically. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com. Oh, <laughs>